What is going on? My name is Mike Hobbs and one of the most common questions that I get is how do I record my screen and myself at the same time? So kind of like this video is where I'm, I'm in the bottom right corner and then you can also see my screen at the same time. How do I do that? And it's actually pretty simple if you use some paid tools but in this video, I'm gonna share with you the paid tools that I've used in the past, but I also wanna give you guys a free method. So I'm gonna walk you through a free method of doing this, and you never have to pay for anything if you just use some free tools. So I'll share with you the paid tools I use, as well as they, I'll walk you through a free method if you guys are on a budget. So let me share my screen real quick. There's a few different ones that I've used in the past and a lot of my members of my community have also used. So this is one of the most popular ones from the community that I'm in, they use. It's called Screencast-O-Matic. This is a paid plan. It's really inexpensive, but if you do use these tools, I recommend you get it with the editor. So the Screencast-O-Matic is a, is a good option if you're going the paid route. Then for me, this is the one I personally use because I have a Mac computer and it's called ScreenFlow. It also comes with a video editor, which is $129 one-time cost. This one's a little bit less expensive. This also works for PC and Mac, so ScreenFlow uh, and Screencast-O-Matic. And then the last one is uh, Camtasia. So this is on PC and Mac as well. And this is one that I've used in the very, very beginning Then I moved over to ScreenFlow. So those are the paid options if you guys want to, and what's cool about those three options, if you get the paid versions, is they give you a video editor to where you can resize and all that kind of stuff. But in this video, I actually wanna walk you through a free method, which is actually ran through Zoom. So you can actually do this in Zoom, and I'll show you how to edit it as well for free if you guys want to edit it. So with that being said, so how do you do this? So you literally just need a free version of Zoom, as long as your video is under 40 minutes, you're good to go, which most videos are under 40 minutes, and you can do this, this method. So if you do want a paid version of Zoom, don't pay full price, go to workinglive.us. I'm not a sponsor of this company, but if you do want a paid Zoom account, they have one for $12.99. Uh, normally the enterprise accounts, you need, you need 50 different licenses to get an enterprise account, and that would cost you literally a thousand dollars okay you don't want to pay a thousand dollars it's literally 12.99 for a room of 500 so don't pay full price for zoom i always want to mention that because this is a lot better deal this is the one i use now i for this purpose of this video though i signed up for a free zoom account i'm going to show you how to show yourself and your screen at the same time using Zoom. So go ahead and get Zoom, and the first thing you wanna do is you wanna download Zoom to your computer, and I'm gonna show you why here in a minute. So what you do is you go to zoom.us, and then under resources, click download Zoom client. Now, the reason you need to download this is because there's some settings you need to set on your computer for this method to work, all right? So right here, download Zoom client, download it, install it and it doesn't matter if you're on an Apple or a Mac. I'm personally on a Mac, but you can use this on PC as well. So it doesn't matter if you're in PC or Mac. All right, so once you have it downloaded and installed, then you're gonna open up Zoom on your computer, all right? And then log into it. So you're gonna log into your free Zoom account and this can be a paid account too, it doesn't matter, but log into your Zoom account and then at the top right corner, you're gonna click this little icon on the top right, and then you're gonna look for settings, okay? So you're gonna open up your settings, and then underneath the uh, recording setting, go to recording, and you're gonna make sure a couple things are checked. So A, you're gonna to want to pick a folder where you want it to go on your computer somewhere. So that's important so you can find the files later. And then right here, this is super important, you wanna optimize for third-party video editor. Make sure that's checked. And then also right here, record video during screen sharing. So this will allow your video to be next to the screen share so that way they can see your video and your screen share at the same time. All right, and then right here, place next to right there. 
So just do that, make sure those are checked. And that's about all the settings that you need to make sure is this recording settings. And sometimes these don't come defaulted this way and you need to be logged in to your account for these settings to work. So you have to be logged in on your computer. So anyway, check those settings. And then if you wanna go through everything else, you can just to make sure everything is good the way that you want it. But that's the most important step right there is the recording settings. Once those are done, then what you wanna do is you want to keep this open and then just start a meeting. So you can either schedule the meeting or start it right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click start. And this is from my computer. Now you can also do it from online. So if you log in to your account at zoom.us, you can also log into it here. Click on, just log into your account online, click on meetings, and then you can schedule a meeting here, or you can go to your personal room and then click start. That's how I do it. I don't really need to schedule a meeting if I'm just gonna go live right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click start. Then it's gonna open up your meeting as you can see right here. And then what I would do is I would make sure your webcam is enabled. So do your webcam and then also make sure your mic is on. Okay, just like this. And that way your audio is going through the feed. Okay, so make sure your mic is on. And then also I would make sure your screen sharing is on before you click record, okay? So this is, this is super important when it comes to editing the video later. So we're gonna go ahead and share my screen. I'm gonna share this browser window right here, which is just your browser window and then share sound. You can, if you want, if you're gonna play videos through there, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna click share. All right, so now I have my webcam in the zoom right here. You'll see it on the side. You don't need that in the screen, but now it's sharing what's on my screen right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a test recording. So as you can see, here's the controls. This is what it's gonna look like. And as soon as you have, just make sure your webcam is enabled, make sure your mic is enabled, and then click record. Okay, so you click on this more button, and then you're going to click on record, and then I'm gonna show you what happens. So I'm just gonna do a test recording real quick. All right, so this is a test recording. I'm just showing my screen. You should uh, go over to this awesome website and get Screencast-O-Matic because it's a great tool for you to use in your business and it will record your screen, also has editing plans and it's super cheap and inexpensive. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording now. So click stop recording. And then you can exit out of the Zoom at this point. So you can stop share, and then you just literally exit out of the Zoom. And then here's what's gonna happen. You click end meeting for all. And then this little pop-up, if you did the settings correctly, this little pop-up is gonna come up and then it's gonna pull open this window here where it's gonna show you all the different files of the recording that you just did, all right? So now there's two things you can do. If you didn't make any mistakes, you don't really need to edit it. It's gonna automatically have your webcam to the right of the video or of the screen share, and it's gonna show your webcam and your screen share. There's some advanced stuff you can do if you want, if you do have a video editor. If you don't have a video editor, you're good to go. So all you would do is you'd basically do this. You double click on the zoom underscore zero link. So just double click that. All right, and then it's going to pull open the actual video and you can watch the video and if the video is good, so let's just do a quick test. All right, so this is a test recording. I'm just showing my screen. You should uh, go over to this awesome website and, and as you can see, it shows the webcam in the corner and it has the screen here and that's all you gotta do. That, that video is done, it's ready to be uploaded. The only, the only other thing is if you need to edit it a little bit, then you'll want to throw it in a video editor. Now I suggest the, if you, if all you, if you didn't make any mistakes throughout the video, the easiest way to edit your video is just to upload it to YouTube. So let me show you a quick demonstration on that. So here it is. I already uploaded it, just pre-uploaded it. 
so that you guys can uh, see here. I just did test Zoom meeting. And what's cool is once it's uploaded, all you gotta do is click on this little editor button right here. And as you can see, YouTube has a free editor. So you don't even have a video editing software. You don't have to have one. And then you just basically drag this clip over where your video starts, right? And then trim it, click trim. And then what I do is I just drag that over here to where the video starts. And then you can just uh, go ahead and click play just to kind of see what it sounds like to make sure you're good to go. So let's click play. All right, so this is a test recording. I'm just showing. Okay, and then the last thing is if you go over to the end of the recording, so let's say this is the end of the recording and you also want to trim over here, and then I would just trim this over here. So that's how you do it is basically when you're good, you you just trim the, the beginning, you trim the end, and then when you're done, you click preview, and then you can you can just go right here and then see what happens. So if you, if you go back over here and you click play, look, look what happens. All right, so this is a test recording. I'm just showing expensive. There you go. So then you trim the end, you trim the, the, the end, the beginning, and then you just click save, and then you just click save, and that's the simple free method of editing your video, and it's all good to go. So you have your webcam, you have your screen, and that's the free method of doing it. Now, obviously, if you want more advanced stuff, like if you want the webcam on top of the video and a whole bunch of other things like that, then of course you're going to want to use one of these other paid tools. And that's what you pay for, right? You, you pay something like Screencast-O-Matic where you can do some more advanced editing with your videos or you, uh, I use ScreenFlow personally, which again, I like as well. But, uh, but yeah, you could totally do everything with Zoom, which is really, really cool. You just record it, trim the end, trim the beginning with YouTube Editor, and you are good to go. So if you got value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm share this video with other people. And with that being said, make it a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.